rolling to France. So Britain is currently in the midst of a general strike, general rail strike, the biggest this country has seen in over a generation. And it started yesterday on Tuesday, the 21st of June, and will continue all the way up until Saturday, the 26th of June. It has meant that travel has been a nightmare, but uh, the RMT union are fully justified in in going on strike, balloting and then going on strike. The news is that inflation in Britain has risen to just over 9%, considering that it was 9% a month ago. That's not too bad a leap, although the situation is feared to become progressively worse. Watch this space and enter that one. On the Russia-Ukraine front, I sadly have been unable to post videos in the past couple of days, although I am fully aware of the incident at Kaliningrad, where Lithuania have blocked the movement of Russian goods such as bricks, mortar, cement, and anything which they say falls under the remit of sanctions which were to begin on June the 17th to Russian citizens in Kaliningrad. Kaliningrad. Of course, Russia are furious, but interestingly enough, uh, Lithuania are blaming the EU. <laughs> Are blaming the EU for telling them to do it and it's quite clear that this was a policy dreamt up by the EU to to provoke Russia even more I once described these Baltic countries tiny as they are Lithuania Estonia Latvia these Baltic countries as chihuahuas barking at a big brown bear because essentially they are chihuahuas barking at a big brown bear they follow the whims of their masters NATO and the United States and act like the things they do <laughs> they act like the things that they do they'll go through on it and they'll do it even if they weren't told to do so by the United States. Lithuania's actions are reckless, they're provocative, they're dangerous, they risk escalation and but for the restraint of Russia, thankfully, thankfully, they can be very, very destructive for Lithuania. Amongst other things, it just shows how spiteful and how childish some of these countries have become in their yearning, in their sick, crazed desire to isolate Russia and punish Russia for its invasion of Ukraine. Another incident which has occurred, which has perhaps has flown under the radar, was Petro Poroshenko's comments over the weekend, where he said the Minsk Accords were only agreed to by his government, representing Ukraine at the time, in order to buy time to militarize itself they're on in try to retake Crimea and as we know lots of full-scale invasion of the Donbass quite a remarkable thing for Poroshenko to say we do know that his government was shoddy his government was corrupt his government was rotten but such a comment like that axiomatically shows why Russia will no longer ever trust the West. 
in negotiations. Why Russia will no longer listen to the West or Ukraine when it comes to the issue of uh, the military operations slash invasion of Ukraine. Because when Russia did seek to implement the Minsk Accords, little did they know, Ukraine had every intention of not following through. Russia themselves weren't perfect, they weren't saints, and even having signed the Minsk Accords, they continued to still fund and arm the, the Donetsk People's Republic Army and the Luhansk People's Republic Army. Nevertheless, the Minsk Accords represented the best way for peace. And they represented for Ukraine, especially given now what is occurring, the best bargaining tool for them to de-escalate this ten these tensions and avoid war. But Petro Poroshenko has just come out over the weekend and said it was never Ukraine's intention to follow through on the Minsk Accords from behind the scenes. Now we're in a situation where Russia will not be told anything by those who participated in the breaking of the Minsk Accords and they will dictate the terms about Ukraine to, to the West, to the EU and more importantly to Ukraine itself. It's Russia that will decide when this ends. It's Russia that will decide how this ends. And it's Russia that will take territory, hold it, and keep it forever under the Russian Federation.